Recently, the city doled out final allocations for those who applied for SECA funds. Money is coming from a 1% citywide food and beverage tax to go towards special events and cultural amenities. Naperville News 17's Alyssa Bohenick has the story. $2.4 million. That's the amount City Council had to divvy up among the 89 applications asking for SECA funds this year. The Advisory Cultural Commission had first crack at the allotments, whittling down the list to 74 contenders, and then sending the recommendations to Council for approval. Bumped from that final list, the Naperville Municipal Band, who had made a $32,000 ask, money that could help fund the trip to Texas for a special performance, a request that was rejected. The band's request was for travel to go to Texas. Travel is explicitly um, excluded as, um, as a criteria to be eligible for SECA. So because of that, the, the Advisory Cultural Commission decided not to fund their request. But council decided to make a one-time exception to the rule, awarding the band $25,000, half of the $50,000 price tag. Well, we were hoping for a little bit more than that, but we're, that's, we're, that's good. <laughs> uh, there isn't 100 percent, but we're coming close. City Council, they all were supportive of the band, and several were very strong supporters of the band. So, you know, it, it helps when you've been around for 158 years. <laughs> the group also dished out $25,000 each to the Naperville Women's Club, North Central College, and the DuPage Children's Museum, despite the Commission's recommendations for less. Changes that resulted in them exceeding the amount on hand. It seems that we will be in the negative a little bit, but we do anticipate some more projects coming in under budget, and we won't have that final number until July. City Council members and agreed this is one of their most difficult workshops, Sika, but feel they made a fair decision. I'm Melissa Bohenick for Naperville News 17. The final awards will be given at the next City Council meeting on April 8th.